a twisted web of metal beans and ash. The aftermath of an attack that snuffed out the lives of people eating dinner at a restaurant in Ukraine. Footage from the National Police appeared to show the city of Kramatorsk as it was confronted with yet another day of grief on Tuesday. Russian missiles hit the city again, killing a number of people, according to local officials and police. Dozens were injured. The dead included a child. Speaking to Reuters, witnesses said they were in disbelief. I ran here after the explosion because I rented a cafe here. Everything has been blown out there. There's nothing. No windows, no doors. All I see is destruction, fear and horror. This is the 21st century. And all the destruction is shocking to see in real life. When you see in photos, it's different. What you see on TV doesn't even begin to show what you see in real life. The Donetsk Regional State Administration posted video of people dressed in military fatigues helping move the injured. As darkness fell on the city, people were still seen in police video being pulled from the rubble. Missiles also hit a village on the fringes of the city on Tuesday and a cluster of buildings in Kremenchuk, about 230 miles west in central Ukraine. President Vladimir Zelensky said in his nightly video message that Moscow must be held to account. Every such act of terror proves again and again to us and the whole world that Russia deserves only one thing as a consequence of all that it has done – defeat and the tribunal, fair and lawful trials against all Russian murderers and terrorists. Kramatorsk has frequently been a target of Russian attacks. It's a major city west of the front lines in Donetsk province and a likely key objective in any Russian advance. Russia denies targeting civilian sites in what it has described as a, quote, special military operation since invading its neighbour in February 2022.